Hey all, it's Dan here with another review. Um, this time I'm reviewing Uzumaki by Junji Ito. Um, I have to admit that I don't usually read manga. Um, I'm not someone who typically reads manga, so keep that in mind before, the, before I go into this. Um, I grew up watching Robotech and Voltron, and that was the farthest extent of me being into Japanese cultural things. Um, I tried to keep in mind that this is a different culture when I tried to read this, and the reason why I decided to check it out was because numerous channels um, kept saying that this was something really great, something really worthwhile checking out, so I figured I would go into it. Um, I noticed a lot of my friends on Goodreads really enjoyed this. They gave it a four or five star rating. I mean, there were the rare few that gave it three stars. Um, another thing I want to add before we get into this is a lot of those channels that did think this was really great are not channels that typically read comics. So I'm just throwing that out there. They're not your average comic book readers. They don't typically read comics. Um, so yeah. Uh, one thing I first have to add about this is the beautiful artwork. The artwork is amazing and probably... The best thing about this is the artwork. I will, hands down, I will give it that. The, it, the artwork is very good. Um, the story, if you're, for those not familiar, it's about this little town. It's a coastal town. Um, I'm not even going to try to say the town name because I know I'll butcher it. But um, it's a town that is under a curse and it's cursed by spirals. And I'm not sure, but I think that the subtitle is Spiral into Horror. I don't know if that's what Uzumaki translates to. But, um, yeah, and it was it was a whole different experience. Like, I'm not used to reading uh, comics backwards, because they read them from uh, right to left. And it took me a while when I was reading it to realize that the text went right to left, too. But, yeah, I mean... Like I said, beautiful artwork. Um, it kind of, this spiral obsession, like, I really didn't think, I never really thought Japanese horror was all that scary. Um, they tend to, I usually find a lot of the stuff that they consider scary to be kind of silly. Um, but, like, I will give it that it's beautifully crafted. Um, the fact that the, the, um, the artist was these intricate spirals. And, like, at one point... Each chapter seemed to feel like it was almost like a collection of short stories because it felt disjointed at times because they kept introducing like new characters and I was like, well, who's this and what happened to the people that the story started out with? And then it would, it, when it got near towards the end, it brought back the original characters. So I, at one time I was like, is this a collection of short stories? Because then things were still kind of like centered around spirals, but it was different people, and yeah, I mean, to be honest with you guys, I thought this was just okay. Uh, prior to reading this one, I read Geo or Gio or whatever by Junji Ito. Um, that one was the one with the horrible death stench or whatever. I thought that one was horrible. I just really did not enjoy that one. Um, that book I gave two out of five stars. I really didn't like it. So, but I, I figured I would still give this one a chance, and I decided to rate this three out of five stars on Goodreads. I know there's probably a lot of you who are probably like, you're wrong, dude, you're wrong, this is a great book, but this is just my opinion, and like I said, I'm not the typical manga reader. Um, I I'm, I'm have a few more of these Junji Ito books to check out. I'm going to check them out and see what I think of them. But I think that's going to be my farthest extent in the manga. I'm not really, I'm not really a manga person. I, I'm just, I, I can't really get into manga. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, it's just not my thing. I'm not saying it's it's a bad thing if you like it. It's you know if that's your thing, but it's just not my thing. But three out of five stars, I mean, it's okay. I thought it was an okay read. It is it is what it is. I mean, I'm sure there's other people that enjoy this. I mean, I looked at the ratings. A lot of people really enjoyed this, so it's worth checking out if you are 
And if you've never really checked out Japanese horror, then yeah, go ahead and check this one out. Um, of course, as always, I will have a link down below if you'd like to pick up a copy of this for yourself. Uh, for those of you outside the U.S., I have a book depository link. They offer free worldwide shipping, and they offer the same great discounts as Amazon, so go ahead and check that out. Um, I get a small percentage of every sale, which helps out my channel. If you're looking for more graphic novel comic book reviews, go ahead and hit that subscription button. While you're there, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload again. That's all I got for you guys. Till next time, later.